I heard that um, you crowdfunded a baby. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to guess what that was? <laughs> that's the beauty of being an open platform. So that's what makes Indiegogo kind of the biggest differentiator about us now today, now that I think hundreds of platforms have launched since we started. Mm -hmm. um, and we had Kickstarter. Yancy yeah, Strickler from Kickstarter was here last year. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the, the change that's happened in the past year, mm -hmm. which we're talking about in a second, mm -hmm. has just been kind of amazing. But mm -hmm. um, Yeah, they came out about a year and a half after us. And, um, but the difference with us still today is that we're open. So we, we're literally taking a Twitter and YouTube approach to this, where anybody can create a campaign. There's no curation. There's no vetting in terms of quality. Um, if it's legal, you can raise money for it. And the beauty of that type of an approach is that then the ideas that rise to the top are one, the ones the world actually wants. There's no, if we were to insert our bias into the selection process of who gets to use our platform, who doesn't, we actually then would not be a good market testing platform. It would be a good platform to showcase what Indiegogo thinks is good. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to actually be a, a true market testing platform for the whole world, which is why we're open. Because we're open, we have things like people raising money for babies. There was a couple that couldn't afford IVF, and they actually had been rejected from another platform, and then somebody told them about Indiegogo. They went on Indiegogo, raised um, you know, $10,000 to have IVF, and within, um, they got the money within a few weeks, and the baby was born last year happy and healthy. That person wouldn't exist without Indiegogo. Yeah, that's about the best marketing cook I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs>